So I think that well, speaks volume about what investors. I can't speak on uh, their behalf. You know what? But money talks. In the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico last year, nearly four hundred million dollars was was committed to purchasing of offshore leases. And we had a record offering in Newfoundland and Labrador last year, and we had zero purchases. <coughs> one, of the, one of the very few times in, our, in, in, in the history of our offshore oil and gas, in the year that we had record numbers of parcels offered up, would you, does that sound like um, confidence in Newfoundland and Labrador's offshore oil and gas? I can say it. Again, international investors are looking to Canada as one of the top places in the world to put their money. That, that's, that's, what, that's what we're seeing. And in terms of the, the oil and gas sector, um, we, you've seen probably the reports, as I have, from the International Energy Agency, or even our own energy, independent energy regulator, that estimates that by the end of the, the decade, um, demand for oil and gas, w for, for oil, Firstly, will will peak so by, by by around 2028. So I think investors are starting to wonder, you know, where or if I'm, they should continue uh, invest Mr. in, Gilbo, in the 